can make a quick little video here of my layout. This layout is about 12 by uh, two and a half foot. I'm gonna call it that. It's uh, based in a little along the Mississippi River and um, between Baton Rouge and Gosman, Louisiana. Two railroads from, I say, 25 to 30 years ago was Illinois Central and Kansas City Southern. This is my plastics facility right here, where plastics is, are produced. And usually at these facilities, you see these covered hoppers, maybe a truck pulling through a gate. Have a little more work to do on it. Some piping. See up close. All the detail pipe running out of buildings. Okay, so I made these. These are like those Umarol car wash bottles. And of course this is Walters refinery piping and storage tanks. It's a Kleenex box. Brake fluid uh, bottle. Alcohol peroxide bottle. I can't remember which one. This is a Walters plastic pellets kit. I'm not through with that. I got a lot of details still left to put on that. This is a guard gate that came with uh, another kit, I think, on the refinery side of this layout. This is my two heavyweights here. Then my two lightweights, or one lightweight, one middleweight. Yeah, and this is a container here. That's a forklift. It's an old storage container or tank here that is not in use anymore. It's just been thrown to the side, rusted out. It's a little storage container, another container where samples are taken from. And here's a real road track in the back or a tank car back there part. Here's the refinery here. Uh, it's pretty big. Same thing I use PVC on this here. This is home from Lowe's. Just PVC and piping of course. This is like stuff out of Walters kits. Those ladders, uh, I ordered them from a whole scale website. I forget which one. But uh, they're real cheap, though. They, they actually sent me a lot of extra ladders I didn't even order, so I guess they were trying to get rid of them. Um, this is a PVC, two inch diameter PVC. Uh, storage tank I just got it there as a storage tank and then this here this blue thing this is a pump it's an ethanol car so they will take ethanol into the system to blend it with gasoline so it's more PVC here I think it's one and a half inch and this here is a longer six inch piece of PVC I bought. Okay, so this part in the back, this is uh, this is all Walters United Petroleum kit, but 
Uh, man, that kit just, it was too small for what I wanted to do. So I said I'll build it up. I'm not finished with it. I got to put rails, ladders, and everything on. I got more ladders. I got a lot of ladders I need to add to this. But um, I'm going to build it up. It just wasn't big enough. I didn't want to buy another one. So I just said I'll buy Amaral bottles, brake fluid bottles, water bottles. Make like this is like a a chamber where all of the oil goes in first and in a refinery and the oil is like distillation is cooked here it's warm it's heated up and then the heavier oil residue is moved somewhere where it can be turned into gas diesel kerosene the lighter oils are used for other things okay so and it's pretty big. I paint left this one green. I see how that represent diesel. That's the diesel area over there. This here, back here, is a that's a Brillo pad box. I turned made it into a cooling tower. And I have uh, two tracks. So this is like would be on a dead end street where. Uh, the track come to an end over here. I don't know yet. I might, you know, make it go all the way around. This is in my garage, but eventually maybe move it to a room since it's sort of modular and let it go all the way around. Um, yeah, this here is a Walters kit here. This is a oil fuel distribution. So. You see the trucks here, they're waiting, loading up. You know, there's even a, a intermodal tank there. I, I gotta get a trailer for that, but I'm gonna put, put a, a, a chassis on that one. And um, this is where gasoline is loaded into these rail cars right here. And this here is pretty much just a storage track for more rail cars. Gasoline is uh, loaded here. This here is part of that Walters kit. This is like a burn off, um, a stack, a burn off stack or whatever came with that. I, uh, that United Petroleum kit. I just spread it all out pretty good and ran pipe under it like you know, excess excess fuel would come up in here and light it up, burn it up, burn it off rather. So I'm filming with my cell phone. This is a box that cell phone came in. So that'll be like a unit control room, power station for the whole thing. And that's it's more storage right there. It's a little production office for customers, refinery, take care of customers, make sure real cars are loaded, maybe have an entire team working on that side. And then over here, put another team. I want to put a unit control room somewhere but I might just leave it off and that's about it uh, nice little deal I'm thinking I don't know but the rail cars and um, locomotives and everything here, I think that's enough locomotives for this little switch layout. That's pretty much what it is. Uh, working on another little, well, it's not little, it's another 12 foot section. Uh, it's going to be wider, of course. It's going to be, uh, if you spread out a little bit, it's, it's going to be 12 foot and 
twice as wide as this. So, working on that, doing the planning right now. And uh, it won't be Atlas track. I think I'm gonna use Kato track. I've already purchased some Kato track for that. So. But I'm almost done. I did a little work in here today. And um, probably do a little more work in here next week. Finish it out. I want to go ahead and finish it out. But I turn it on, play with it, on, and I get home from work. It's <laughs> pretty neat, you know. And especially like when I'm when I'm standing like right here <laughs> looking at it, you know, when I have everything turned on. It's just like when I was growing up watching this. So Yep, but that's it. <laughs>